When I thought of John Muir, I thought of him as quite an old man with like the beard and the stick. And it was good to find out about him as a boy, like our age, and see what he got up to and what he was like. When I was a boy in Scotland, I was fond of everything that was wild, and all my life I've been growing fonder and fonder of wild places and wild creatures. I think he was quite funny and quite mischievous, like when he climbed the roof. And I really liked that he used to stay up for five hours in the morning to read, because I really like reading. When John Muir was a child, when he was daydreaming, his father hit him in the head because he was really strict. I think he was really, he was really adventurous and cheeky because sometimes he wouldn't follow the rules and he would still like, learn the Bible, but he would still go out and be adventurous with his brother, which I think is really nice. We love to watch the waves in awful storms. Most of all, we love to play speeches, a game of dangerous dares. My favourite scripture is climbing like John Muir because it's fun and it makes me feel brave. As a boy, John Muir loved to run and he inspired me to run to keep myself fit and to see wildlife that I wouldn't normally see walking around and have fun doing it. It's kind of Dunbar's like claim to fame almost and um, yeah, I think he was a really important man and that he was very inspirational. I missed from Poland and John Muir moved from here to America. John Muir liked going out in all different weathers, especially wind like this. I thought it was really interesting at how when he like hurt his eyes, like how that really inspired him to like go on and do what he did. <laughs> we all take for granted that we can like see all this, how lucky we are to be able to see it and like we just value it and stuff. John Muir walked a thousand miles. Who has not felt the urge to throw a pound of tea and a loaf of bread in an old sack and hop over the back fence? We claim Cornet Cowan our onesies, but John Muir never did that. We've been doing the John Muir Award and it's really improved my learning of nature and the environment around Keswick and around the National Park. I think if John Muir was alive today, I think he'd be quite interested in technology because of all the inventions that he made. If John Muir was on Twitter, I think he would continue to go on about his adventures and about how amazing the world is. If John Muir was on Twitter, I think he would give tips and advice to the government about pollution and maybe tell us little things that we can do to help save the world. He wouldn't waste electricity with Twitter. <laughs> All these things are named after John Muir. A planet, a rose, a tree, and even a tiny millipede. John Muir would be proud of himself for um, starting the national parks. There's always been somebody that I'd quite like to emulate in the way that I act, uh, both passing on uh, information to others, but also conserving, enjoying, and spending time in the outdoors. Uh, I think it's still really important for schools to be encouraging outdoor learning because it helps us like understand about nature. I earn last in the the shower and the cars land yorkin. A child is like brought up in a very outdoorsy family. They might like want to explore like John Muir did and just like, they might they might look up to him, but as an idol. And do you? No. <laughs> I like makeup. <laughs> There's still things that need done, but I think we're in the right direction and I think he'd be proud of that we've carried on what he sort of started off. Going to the woods is going home. I think he really brings across a message that wildlife is really precious to us and the world is really, we're really lucky to be in a world like this. It's important for us to care about nature because if we don't and nobody does, then there will be no nature left and um, nobody to care for it. <laughs> <laughs>